So I hope at this point we've explained well that in order for security to work we need to set up a trust that is read-only for the application pool or the identity that's associated with the application pool. It's the server account associated with that SharePoint application pool also known as the application pool identity. Now when you create a trust you have the option of making it a very loose trust or a very restrictive trust. One of the ways to make it more restrictive is to identify the name of the process that's actually going to initiate that connection. Now the process name associated with the application pool identity of, um, of IIS, of the web server, is w3wp.exe. That's basically the name of the executable. Now in order to, so if I want to create a restrictive trust, that's a good thing to know. I'll show you how we will use that in just a second. Also, make sure that you know what the username is that's associated with the application pool. So again, if I go over to my SharePoint machine, again, I'm looking at the IIS manager here. This is the IIS manager under application pools. I just chose SharePoint properties. The identity is the uh, or the user, I should say, that we associate with that identity is administrator for this domain. Now I'll also show later on how to create a trust if uh, you're using predefined instead of configurable with a username. And then lastly, of course, we need to create the trusts themselves. So let's go ahead and go back to this Pi server. Let's look at the trusts applet as part of Pi system management tools. And let's take a look at uh, first the configurable trust, the trust when or the trust that you would use if you have set your SharePoint application pool identity to configurable, to configured to a certain user. Now for that, you would use a trust that looks like this. Let me double click it to show you the specifics. Uh, for the a Windows username, we're going to use administrator. That is the username that's associated with the application pool identity. And that username is in the domain virtual labs. Now that by itself is enough to do what I really am interested in doing here. But to make this even more restrictive, I can add this application information. That's the name of the process that's associated with the application pool. So as all trusts uh, work, what's going to happen here is when the incoming client tries to connect to Pi, we will check to make sure that that incoming connection is coming from that application and has these credentials. And if the incoming connection matches these three, then we're going to associate that with this particular trust, and that trust associates it with this particular Pi user. Now, Pi Demo is a user who has read-only access to the module database, and in fact, that's all you need in this case is, is read-only access. So this accomplishes our goal of setting up a trust that allows the application pool identity to connect with read access to the module database. Now next up we'll look at how to do this same thing if you're using instead of uh, configurable you're using predefined for the application pool identity.